This is new work that we're publishing on this fireball that happened over Russia last February 15th, 2013. There was a big fireball that detonated just south of Chelyabinsk, Russia. And the, the fireball, there was so much energy that there were windows blown out. There were some people unfortunately injured during this, this event. There were meteorites that um, landed on the ground and in fact one that was recently recovered from a lake. Uh, near Chelyabinsk and so we've been very interested in working very hard the team here at Western to understand this event where it came from how much energy it deposited what kind of damage uh, resulted from the, the shock wave and what that means about the shock wave and then also putting it in a broader global context what does that mean in terms of the number of things hitting the earth you know Chelyabinsk was kind of unusual hit near a pretty big city you know over a million people close enough to the city that the shockwave caused damage. Um, you know, wow, that's, that's something we never expected to see. And is that just a fluke? Is it a one-off sort of small number of statistics? Or does it indicate that maybe there are more of these objects out there than we thought? So yeah, in this new paper, the, the findings that are, are really new are that the, the number of objects like Chelyabinsk that seem to hit the earth are more than we thought before. That, that's a new result. The other thing we've been able to determine in the last six months of work is the blast from the object, measuring it from YouTube videos, looks like uh, that blast is telling us that the, the kind of models we use for blast effects from airbursts aren't, aren't quite up to the job, they aren't quite reproducing it very well. Uh, and then the other thing we've looked at is we've looked at four different techniques for measuring energy and we get basically the same result we got in the first 24 hours, but we've cut down the uncertainty by about 50%. So that's, that's a, a new good solid result.